and we are just about set to go here today. Our Marker 7 first pitch is coming up in two minutes. Marker 7 Coastal Grill, where I am guessing there's a very good crowd on the patio right now, right at the corner of Lumpkin and Millage Avenue. Best deck in the SEC for lunch or dinner and the best seafood this side of St. Simons Island. Left-hander Zach Crotchfelt on the mound, 0-1 this season, a 487 ERA, 21 strikeouts, 10 walks in 20 and one-third innings pitched, an opponent's batting average of 234. Well, Georgia led after five innings on Friday. The Bulldogs led after five innings on, well, I guess, Five Thursday. innings Thursday. Yeah. I get, these Thursday through Saturday I know, series. I know. I, I, I Game got, one. I got messed up, man. I got messed up. It feels like today's Sunday afternoon. It does. So through five innings on Thursday, through four innings yesterday, Auburn got the lead in the sixth. It was 0-0 after one. So, again, George has been able to go toe-to-toe, but Auburn has just been better in the late innings. And that's why when you look in the majors, those really good teams, they got guys making about $22 million a year on the back end of that bullpen because nothing rips your heart out like those late-inning losses. So here we are. I like that, DJ. Game three here on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Time for our marker seven first pitch. Ben Anderson digging in from the left side. Crotchfeld left on left into the motion. His marker seven first pitch at 3.01 Eastern time misses down and away, and it's 1-0. Big scoreboard out in left center. Here's a 3-1. Anderson skies this one towards a monster out left. Stanfield's going back. Look it up. It's off the top of the wall. Anderson will pull into second, safely standing with a leadoff double. Great job there by Anderson. A little bit of bad luck, another foot or two, and that thing's out of here. No doubt. That hit the very top of the green monster. Riding a 22-game hitting streak. Here's a pitch. Condon, breaking ball, belted in the left for a base hit. And the dogs are on the board. Charlie Condon make it 23 straight, and he increases his league lead. 39th RBI of the season. No curse of the leadoff double, Harry. It is the dogs have now led in every game this weekend. Yes, indeed. And just so big to go ahead and get that run home. Here's the 0-1. This is it high and deep in the left. It's got a chance. This ball has cleared the monster. Parks Harbor with his 25th career homer, his ninth of the season. And Condon and Harbor extend their hitting streaks in style here in the first inning. Well, this was the start we asked for, and it's great to see here. Obviously, a long way to go, but... uh... These dogs did not come over here to lay down for this final game. Great start here for Georgia. Crotchfeld, the 0-2. This is hit deep out into left field. Will it be over or off the monster? It's over. Home run, Connor Tate. Career home run number 35 for Connor Tate. And the dogs now have their biggest lead of the weekend. 4 not the Georgia. And for Tate, his 35th career round tripper. Right on left, 3-2, number two. Here it is. Ball four downstairs, and it's 5 nothing Georgia. And Wagner drives in his second run of the weekend. First time hit by a pitch. This time, bases loaded walk. Love it. Condon scores. Collins to third. David to second. Wagner with a... RBI walk, and now LaPlante will stand in. Big boots, etc. walk right there. On a jam-packed Saturday afternoon, here's the 1-1. This one's hit on the ground and through up the middle. Base hit for David. Harbor being waved around third. He'll score without a throw. Big RBI single for Will David, and the Dogs extend the lead back to four at 6-2. to two. That is clutch there from David and Parks Harbor going all the way. I think he would have made it anyway, but Case and Howell, the center fielder, he peaked just a bit and didn't field it cleanly, so no shot there. Nice to get a run and some momentum back for the boys in the first base dugout. Would be gigantic. Here's the 0-1. This one's hit out on the right. That is a base hit for LaPlante. David comes in to score. Here's Murillo behind him. The throw not in time. It's a two-run single for LaPlante, and the Dogs have extended the lead to 8-2. Call and raise. 
That is clutch, and this is just what the doctor ordered for Georgia's Auburn and grabbed the momentum. Second and third with nobody out here in the sixth. Georgia leads it eight to four. Now the pitch. This one is hit high out to left. Tate going back. This one is out of here. A three-run homer by Ware. And Auburn has cut the Georgia lead to 8-7. to seven. And Coach Strickland is out of the dugout. And that's going to do it for Raydans. The pitch. Hit sharply in the right pass to diving McMurray. That's a base hit. Around third, Condon. The throw into second. Clutch RBI single by Corey Collins. And the Dogs extend the lead to 9-7. And Corey is now hitting three straight and reached in 14 in a row. From the belt, the payoff to Murillo. Missed downstairs, and it's 10-7. to Sebastian Murillo. First SEC walk. Great timing. Will Horn, Leo Tootle, the plant. Breaking ball hit sharply in the left for a base hit. Collins scores. David waved around third. The throw home going to be close. He is out by a mile. Well, they tested Bello. First time he's had to make a throw this weekend, and he had to make a play, and he did. So David out, 7-2, to two, and now there's a convergence. Yeah, I think Kentucky and Missouri, two of the big surprise stories. Whoa, so they're calling him safe. And now here, Butch Thompson's coming out. I think the way that was just worded by Damian Beal was incorrect. He's saying it was obstruction and the runner, or he meant to say obstruction and the runner is safe, I think. I think so, too. Key shot, righty on lefty. The pitch to Anderson. Lined out in the left. That's going to drop in for a base hit. Murillo scores. LaPlante held it third, and it's 13-7. to Ben Anderson with his third hit of the game. He had a three-hit game on Tuesday at... Cool Ray against Georgia State, so second three-hit game of the week. From the belt, the 0-1. He hit him that time, and Condon with a look to the mound, a run will score as Charlie picks up his 40th RBI of the season. 14-7 with the bases loaded. Keyshock looking in right on right. Here's the pitch. Harbor laces this one deep out into right field. A long run for Kirby. This ball is off the wall. Maybe, just maybe. One run in. Two runs in. Send him. (laughs) He'll stay at second. Condon scores. Harbor clears the bases, and the Dogs lead by 10. How about that? Now you do have the run rule in play here. That Auburn does get it at back. Yes. That's why I say in play. Correct. I wouldn't mind if we were the home team, that would have ended the game. Hey, I think you ought to be able to win it in the top. You get to this late. (laughs) That's a good The pitch off the fist out into shallow center. Howell's not going to get there. That drops for a base hit. Scott Daly will hold the runners, and the bases are loaded. Nice four-hit game for Will David. Scores. Collins around third. The throw cut off. It is 19-7, Georgia. And I can confirm. Corey touched home plate there. Yes, indeed. He slid across. Heads up, base running. In a good way, here's the 0-2. Ground ball towards short. Foster will touch the bag. On to first, safe, run scores. Georgia 20, Auburn 7 with runners on the corners. Another RBI for LaPlante. That's five for him today. So David scores on the FC. Here's a 2-1. That one bounces up there. It gets away. Maybe a play at home. It's a wild pitch. Safe for Barillo. And it is 21-7. So now it's a two-touchdown lead. This is incredible. Yes. LaPlante goes to second on the play. Yeah, he'll get the win. 
The pitch hit high and deep into left. This one's got a chance. Tate towards the scoreboard. It's off the wall. It's off the scoreboard. It's off his face. A three-run homer for Connor Tate, and it's 24-7. Wow. Connor Tate has hit his 35th and 36th home runs of his career today. Unbelievable. Runner at third with two outs. And again, Auburn in the seventh had the tying run at third with two away. And Foster flew to centers. Anderson made a nice catch. Here's a 3-2. Called strike three, and that's the ball game. Georgia has beaten Auburn by a final score of 24-7. A record-setting 16-run eighth. And the Dogs get into the win column in the SEC in style. Record-setting game here for Georgia. That 16-run eighth inning, the most the Dogs have ever scored in an inning by three. Incredible. Crazy. Incredible. We'll come back and check the totals on the other side. Dogs, a 24-7 winner over Auburn as you listen to Bulldog Baseball on the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. 